Let's fish with Brian. All right, we're gonna Yay. go. Right. Left. Left. You don't have to do that. We're still really? audio still no. going. Oh. You didn't shut your audio off, did you? No. Yeah, me either. <laughs> yeah, oh. so I'm like... Then it's still sunk. <laughs> well, shit. Just making sure. <laughs> you got your left and your right right, though, so that was good, good for you. I'm learning. <laughs> You're gonna leave that in, aren't you? What did that say? Please drive behind you what now? I could have a bike pass. Hey, Daisy and I are going fishing tomorrow. Are you in or out? Oh, I have a message from Brian! A message from friends! <laughs> oh no. That's right, I've been dreading this day. I accidentally boasted about my abilities as a fisherman to Brian, and now he's challenging me to another dad off. I've been doing my fishing research online, but I'm nowhere close to being an expert. Still, though, I have to accept. Nah, just say all Accidentally it. posted. I type back to Brian. Sounds great, man. Super excited to catch all those fish. Make sure your mower is in good working order because you're gonna be all over my lawn this weekend. Yeah, that'll show him. Haha. <laughs> yeah, give it the old Brazilian. <laughs> Straight off the asshole. Brian responds back, letting me know that tomorrow he'll pick us up at an hour I had previously forgotten existed. <laughs> Man, that's gonna be a tough start. Rough, get it, rough. Amanda! What? Amanda comes into the room from the kitchen, eating a cheese stick by biting it off piece by piece like some kind of monster. That's why you eat a cheese stick. I didn't raise you like that. You peel your cheese sticks like a huh? lady. What? It's called string cheese, not choppy cheese for a reason, Amanda. Jesus Christ. That takes too fucking long. No, it's uh. perfect when you get to dangle little wafy bits of string cheese into your mouth delicately, especially if they're the smoked, smoked string cheese. I can't find that here. It has broken my heart for six years. Oh, hopefully it's happening. Did you just... Did you just call me in here to criticize uh, my controversial string cheese eating technique or what? Yes, but also we must go fishing. No, Amanda, we have to go fishing tomorrow. Again, every time I gotta <laughs> tell you, read before you speak. Never! <laughs> Vernon and the Game Grumps have to come to understand how bizarrely close they got to my actual character <laughs> for this. <laughs> well, you have to go fishing. I get to play with Brian's dog. But how could I become a master of fishing overnight? You went fishing in the Girl Scouts, didn't you? Hmm. Nope. My... What does that say? Stint. Oh. My stint in the Scouts was brief and purely transactional. Thought I could get free cookies, but I didn't know what that ha I had to be like. Uh, that I had to be like outside. That I had to be like outside and tie knots and stuff. I would have liked the Girl Scouts and all that fun shit, except all the Girl Scout meetings I went to were all of the popular girls having a popularity contest all the fucking time, and who sold the most cookies. Yep. It's completely shallow and pointless now. Mm hmm But I have to be Brian! Help me! Dad, let me tell you a story. No! <laughs> Do you remember last summer how I applied for a job at that coffee shop across town? You know, I can get you a job at the coffee shop. I'm sure you'd like to work with Pablo. <laughs> but, uh, give me a refresher. Last year was a year ago. During the interview, they asked me if I knew how to work an espresso machine, and I really wanted the job, so I lied and said yes. <laughs> On that first morning, there's a line at the door, and within a half an hour, I severely burned my hand, and they told me to go home and never come back. I still have a scar from that. But that's not fishing. Of course I remember that, but what does that have to do with fishing? Fine. <laughs> the bomb is a meta- the, a bomb. the bomb- The bomb is a metaphor, Dad! <laughs> Look at that bomb! <laughs> I thought she was sitting, sitting on bomb. my hand, like, oh. <laughs> she said bomb. It does look like bomb. Thanks, Skype. <laughs> the burn is a metaphor, Dad. So is that bomb, you <laughs> bomb. <laughs> Ya bum! <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> you scallywag! <laughs> you can lead a horse to water. What do horses have to do with fishing, Amanda? And birds! Obviously, you haven't seen the ring. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? 
Ironically, I took both the ring one and two out to watch while you're here. When Dad, two sucks. please. <laughs> Dad, please. I don't get your obsession with competing against Brian. He's so good at everything. You wouldn't understand. It's a dad thing. Please try explaining it to me. Well, see, each of us has a penis. <laughs> and we have to try to and make sure our penis is bigger than his things. penis. <laughs> and only by doing that, we have to do inco inconsequential sequences of events. <laughs> Please. Oh, what? Mm. Oh, never mind. I'm just doing it again. I saw you turn it. She doesn't hit, hit, hit the button. Hit the button already! Okay, it's just Brian's just so. Mm, and I'm so. Uh, and he just thinks that he's so much better than me, and he purposefully reminds me of that whenever he can. It's like he has to one up me. I have to beat him at his own game! Or he's just mm. that nice, you know? Is that what you think is happening here? No, Amanda! Okay. Yeah. I know that's what's happening here. Oh my god. All right, pops. We should both get some sleep. We should both. <laughs> we should both be getting some sleep. See you in the morning. It's freaking. What the frick? Yeah. <sighs> Night, panda. Pandy pants. Panda panty pants is cute. We should call her that. Yeah. I brush my teeth and throw on some PJs. I climb into bed, set my alarm, and close my eyes. I dream of Marlin stabbing me all night. Okay, and sleep. Sleep. Sleeping should be happening now. I am wide awake. Oof, been here. <laughs> yep. I can't help but think about the last time I went fishing, hoping that there's something I can glean from it to give me an edge over Brian. I was about nine years old. My dad woke me up one morning and told me to get dressed and meet him downstairs. It was still dark out. I had no idea what was going on, but before I knew it, we were both alone on a freezing cold lake. I had to sit there for hours while it got hot and muggy, the air thick with bugs. I picked at mosquito bites while my dad sat in stony silence, fishing pole in one hand and a beer in the other. We didn't catch anything. Wow, sounds like a few fishing trips we had to go on. Yeah. But I actually caught fish and that pissed him off, so... <laughs> One of us got to eat that night, it wasn't him. <laughs> True. No, that really happened. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah. I know. <laughs> on the long drive home, my father bought me a pack of cigarettes and didn't <laughs> say a thing. How old was he? Nine! Oh, wow, well, that's like... What the and I was still a she at the time, so... Yeah. Awkward! <laughs> hmm. That didn't help, and I think I have some repressed sadness about my father. I'll deal with that... later. <laughs> I think this Packing. bottle of whiskey is going to help. <laughs> but I'm drinking it anyways. Hmm. Mm -mm, repression. Dad. <laughs> Tastes delicious, like solid <laughs> memories going down the drain. I'm gonna sip some nice old bottle of Repressitol. <laughs> and then take these pills of fuck it all. <laughs> a full I'm day sitting of on park. a boat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting on a boat in the middle of a body of water. I can't see any land, but I know it's a lake. The water is placid and still. I am holding a fishing pole. Good to know. Nice little Bob Ross painting over here. I don't understand why, but it feels like my life depends on catching a fish right now. I cast my lure into the water and wait, and wait, and wait. My whole being is filled with hopelessness as I watch the line disappear into the depths below. I am unpacking some severe emotional baggage. <laughs> you use a wrong lure. I look up and see my father just as he looked that one cold morning, disapproving of me. I'm panicking now. I, pur I pull the lure up and try to grab a different one, but all the lures in my tackle box are the exact same. I look up to my father for guidance, but he's gone. I try casting again and again, but I can't hold my footing. My boat tips over and I fall into the water. Sinking further and further, I see the multitude of fish that had been lying just below the surface, all swimming around me as if to taunt me. Oh, this is a nightmare. One fish swims up to me. He has Brian's eyes. 
You gotta use the neutral buoyancy lure if you're trying to catch trout, buddy. Ah! I jolt awake to the sound of my alarm. It's fishing day. That would explain the weird dream. I groggily slip on some clothes and get ready. Ah, tea. I spot Amanda's door, half open, and see her still curled up in a mountain of blankets, walking over to her bed. I give her a tiny kiss on the forehead. Mwah. Fishing day, kiddo, you ready? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you gotta get up. I can't do this without you. Like, literally, please. Also, stop sleeping in your clothes. It's gross. Amanda pulls her comforter over her head. I reach under the bottom and tickle her feet. <laughs> Amanda! I'll let up in a minute. <laughs> All right, Brian should be here in 20, so you better not just go back to sleep. I'm gonna turn your light on and open your curtains, to be sure. <laughs> Amanda sticks her hand through the blankets to wave me away. I leave her room and make myself some coffee. And another cup with lots of cream and sugar for Amanda, whenever she gets the hell up. Amanda eventually wanders in and chugs her coffee while I do more word jumbles. I hear the doorbell ring. It must be Brian! Ooh. I hope he brings the doggy. Still rubbing our eyes, we walk outside to see Brian. He's decked out in fishing gear. Daisy's falling asleep next to him. Early bird gets the worm, buddy! You ready to fish? I know oh, I boy, am. <laughs> My eyes narrow in on Brian. I'm gonna defeat you, Dad. I, I mean, Brian. It is a good day to die. Hop on in, guys. Let's get this fishing party started. I walk over to the driver's side door and open it. <laughs> Brian's dog immediately hops into the driver's seat, wagging his stumpy butt tail furiously. <laughs> I could, can I see your license, sir? Come <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Maxwell obediently hops into the back to cuddle with Daisy. Amanda settles in next to Maxwell and Daisy and immediately falls asleep. Ready for an adventure? I'm ready for glory, Dad! B Brian! Dad, I mean Brian. <laughs> Brian! I struggle to stay awake as we drive to the outskirts of town. Country music plays quietly from the radio as I watch the trees pass by. You know what I just learned? I Mumford and yeah. Sons is actually British. You didn't know that? No. Well, I don't listen to country all that much, except like Reba McIntyre. I don't really consider Mumford and Sons uh, country so much as uh, alternative Zydeco, but. You know. Yeah, I just, I'm like, wow, they're good. Anyway. Yeah, they're they're not country either, so oh. you know, whatever. Oh, they're good at masking it. <laughs> so, where exactly are we headed? It's about an hour north of here. About a little spot I've been going to since I was a kid. My dad used to take me there all the time. I don't think anybody else knows about it. Brought everything we need so that we can catch some trout. Have a nice little fire and enjoy the nature. My, uh, fishing pole is in the shop, getting it, uh, tuned up. Do you maybe have an extra I could borrow? Of course! It's probably not as nice as it sounds like yours is, though. <laughs> getting it tuned up in the shop and all. Right! Mine doesn't have an electric motor. <laughs> <laughs> or wheels. <laughs> <laughs> or a boat. Oh my god, could you, could you picture, like, a Segway boat fishing line? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That would be hilarious. Dude, that's totally how one looks. Right. Just to have it. I wouldn't use it. I'd be like, hey, you know what I have? Right over there. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> Don't ask. I am digging a hole here. Yep. I am digging a hole. I am sitting I in it. Deep, deep hole. Uh, no, no fans. You know, it messes up the audio. But it's hot. It is not that hot. I, I stare. am sweating. So You're hot. drinking hot tea. I finished my tea. Good. 
You drink something cold. I stare out at the forest lining the highway. The sun is just barely over the horizon, scattering dusky pink light through the trees. For a split second, I spot a deer grazing on the side of the road before it leaps back into the bush. After a nice quiet drive, Brian eventually tells me to pull off the highway and onto a dirt road. The car bumps along until we reach a clearing that opens up to a magnificent lake. Well, here we are. Listens. I step out of the car and help Brian unload our gear as Maxwell runs around us barking. The kids wake up and wander to the shore, where Daisy tries to teach Amanda how to skip rocks. Still enjoying my tea while it's warm. Brian and I carry the tackle boxes and cooler down to the edge of the lake, where he has a canoe waiting. Alright, it's still warm. Still in one piece. Hold on. Help me out with Maxwell. I help Brian place the tiny dog-sized life vest onto Maxwell. Aww. <laughs> Better. All right, your turn. <laughs> Brian hands me a lime green life vest. <laughs> Maybe if I fall in, you'll save me. I can swim, thanks. No thanks. Oh, last time I made an innuendo, everybody flipped out, but the other two seem assholish too. Yeah, let me just go the first one. Yeah. If I fall in, I'm counting on you to rescue me. Ooh! Oh, Yay. Yeah. Suit yourself. Brian turns to Amanda and Daisy, who are still skipping rocks. Amanda looks pissed off. You kids want to fish? Dad, I'm good with just throwing rocks in the water. <laughs> Amanda hurls a rock into the pond with gusto. Hell yeah. It is kind of fun, but it tends to scare off the fish. Yeah, take that water. I have a problem with authority. <laughs> Amanda, you're supposed to be skipping them. Ah, is that what we're doing? <laughs> Daisy, don't you want a fish? Yeah. I think catching a fish is kind of inhumane. <laughs> we're going to go and spoil the woods and look at bugs and stuff. Huh. Also good pass. All right, be safe. Don't go too far. Watch out for ticks. Brian puts the life vest around himself and we throw all of our equipment into the canoe. Maxwell happily jumps in and takes his place looking out over the front of the boat. I get into the canoe as Brian shoves off. We paddle together to get ourselves into the middle of the lake. <laughs> 